All right, I want to talk about a Netflix movie um, called Wounds. How do you, deep do they do? How I can't even say it right after even watching it. How deep do they go? Absolutely nowhere with this movie. This movie, the trailer looked great. It looked great, the trailer. The movie itself is mindless, and I think it's just how he is in general. Because he, coming out of this, he's, he comes out, he's a narcissist. <laughs> oh my goodness. So basically, he's a bartender, and he works at the bar, and he's got a girl, cute and hot, I guess. Um, she is. And the the thing is about this though, the he's at the bar and he's eye goggling this other girl that looks ten years younger his age. <laughs> so there's a fight that goes on with uh, with these two guys and he puts the bottle in his face and wounds his face. And then basically he tells these kids, I don't know, they look like kids underage for drinking to leave, you know, so they don't get caught in the clash of the fighting. And <laughs> there's a phone that's on the floor when the table is turned. So they're expecting it's coming from the kids. Now keep in mind, the kids in this, you do not see them anymore again. You see them once, and that's it. That's it. You, you don't see them anymore. So was it their phone? Was it anything? All these questions will be answered in this video. <laughs> Hopefully. So he finds the phone. It looks like an iPhone 6. <laughs> um. <laughs> so as you work at the bar and everything you put belongings in the basket or something like that for property because it's not yours and see if anybody claims it in a week or something like that right oh no not this guy he doesn't <laughs> apparently he takes it home with him and he makes his excuse going, oh, I, I forgot, you know, it was in my pocket. Yeah, sure. <laughs> so he brings it home, puts it on the table. It is. <laughs> I got to tell you more details about the movie first before I get into it, though. <laughs> so this is the movie itself. <laughs> it says disturbing and gruesome. I saw nothing gruesome in that. But four stars is being nice, dude. <laughs> dude. The <laughs> four stars is being nice. For this paranormal bullshit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, it says slowly. And when it says actually slowly. <laughs> it is slowly <laughs> so that the apparently the phone itself he picks up the phone and there's messages from these kids so what does he do he tries to open the phone by looking at the shade of the fingerprint to unlock it bad choice there for anything looks through messages and he types to the person Saying you've left your phone. How can he be left the phone if this is the phone that he is got? The person who's messaged hasn't. What? <laughs> like, it doesn't make sense. And then he finds these pictures of gory blood. Eh. Like, I've seen better. No offense. <laughs> Um, in movies, but <laughs> I can't stop laughing because she says directly to him, take it to the police station. That's the first thing 
wise woman right there, you know. She hasn't, she didn't just got the looks. She's smart too. <laughs> She's smart too. And I've got a picture here. This is, <laughs> this is the picture of her with the fall. Oh, you want to see that D? <laughs> nah, just, he's just, so, he's swiping through in his these videos, it is, and, oh, <laughs> And then, okay, he decides to actually try to take it. But at first, he gives her the phone. Um, and he acts so fucking defensive straight away. That it hasn't, it hasn't took him over yet. It hasn't took him over yet. And he's being defensive about the phone. What the f <laughs> yeah, so, oh my god, I'm trying to cut this all Shaw here, <laughs> so, she says, take it to the police station, so what happens next is just mind-boggling, so this person, Garrett, I don't know, they know someone from Garrett, who the fuck is Garrett, I don't know, but apparently this phone was on the kids. So I don't understand why we didn't see them again. Unless they were the possessive. I don't know. <laughs> so down the line it is. Uh, I'm trying to cut this all short. Just all short and brief. Because <laughs> I'm losing brain cells. So... When it comes effective, he tries to take advantage of this, let's just say, t she looks 10 years younger girl who's going with his best buddy. It is. And he nearly have a moment. So what he tries to do, she's nice. To me, she's nice who he's already with, you know, but she's going through some stuff. Boy, she does go through some stuff. There's a scene where basically she's sitting, staring at this laptop, and there's this fucking tunnel, it is, and this tunnel, she stares at the space and she's all grey, like dead to the world. And there's, you know, piss on the chair and on the floor. He picks her up. I'm not kidding this. This is stupid. He picks her up and puts her on the bed and just stands there. Like, hello, you know. <laughs> this isn't the phone affecting him at all. This is just him as a personality. <laughs> you can't tell when the phone affects him till nearly right at the end. Simple. So he picks her up, puts her in the bath, and this is when you see some paranormal bullshit, a little bit. I say bullshit because she sinks into the bath, and the bath goes all black, black water, and she pops out, and she's fine. She says, don't touch me, and that's it. She's fine. That's literally it. I'm like, that's the quickest motherfucking bath you ever gonna get <laughs> one dip, boop, you know, you know. We wish we could have like showers and baths like that. <laughs> As well. So after all this, he's sitting, and I'm not kidding, he breaks up with her. And I think she knows that he's been hitting on a certain girl. Because she just says, okay. Now, his reaction is what a narc would do. <laughs> I'm like, he already has a bad personality. Why are we going this route with the phone? This is, this is why I went to watch it. Because I thought he was going to get punished for something brutal. But no, it doesn't. So he leaves her... Basically, goes to the guy's house who was wounded and says he's staying there for a few days. 
Okay, okay. He says no. He keeps saying no to him. And this is when you see the change in him. He's sweat and he looks mucky. And he tells the manager to screw his job. And then he goes back to the apartment. I'm trying to skip as much as I can. I make this video so short. Because you lose brain cells. So this is the part I clearly don't fucking understand really he goes to the apartment where the guy is wounded which is in the title <laughs> he says he tries to say who did this who's done this to me and uh, and he says there's a present you know, like present w what present opens the drawer there's the phone. What? As far as I'm concerned, there was two women following him and stalking him. And these two women that you see in the background sitting on the bench, you don't see them anymore. You don't see them anymore. They're just staring at him while he's eating the sandwich. What? <laughs> you don't see them anymore. You see a black car driving. You see a black car driving, following him. You don't see who's actually picked up the phone or anything. So you think it's him who's been lying on the bed, wounded for days. Which obviously it isn't him because he hasn't moved from the fucking bed. So I'm so confused. So it comes to all, he opens the drawer. And a message comes out saying, do you like your present? And I'm sitting there like... I want mine now on 20 minutes back. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, these cockroaches come from everywhere from the house. And he's like over them. You know when you scare your buddy or friend and go, rah. <laughs> he's over them. Mouth open with a hand. Like that. And all these cockroaches is coming out. And the guy who's wounded is like, no, 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 no. And we like this. I'm not kidding. For over two minutes. I'm not kidding. Two minutes of this bullshit. You think you're going to see something at the end? Cockroaches get like the camera point of view, like they're attacking you, and that's it. That's literally the movie. I just told you the movie literally in what less than 10 minutes. I'm not joking. I'm not joking. If I told you that was a movie, that is literally the movie. I don't get it. I I really don't get it. I don't. <laughs> like, there, there should have been more contents to this, I feel. But for an hour and a half, I kind of knew it was going to be a rushed ending or something like that because it was getting on as well. <sighs> was there was some scary scenes? Not really. There was an odd one part two way a jump scare where it showed you the tunnel and then it zoomed it was an eyeball but that's it <laughs> that's generally it the trailer looked better than the movie itself uh, i forget it they wanted a different approach with this and it i think it it should have had more potential but some scenes looked rushed to me, some scenes looked rushed. Um, <laughs> so, I don't know if we're going to see Cockroach Boy <laughs> or whatever. I don't know. Apparently, he's been took over by the phone. It was one of those movies that you scratch your head. You scratch your head, it is. Because with all that going on, the pub was downstairs. Why could they not hear anything? 
Do you know what I mean? Why did I not hear anything? So this movie, yeah, it was as bad as, as bad as it was, yeah. I've just told you the movie in about 15 minutes. So if you want to watch it, it's on Netflix, but so you can get more of a closer eye. Let me know in the comments below what you think of it. I did not like this movie at all. Oh, I'm only going to give this a 2 out of 10. Sorry. <laughs>